Introduction Mac, could you come and help me to prepare my math assessment tomorrow? Oh, sure. I, I know you cannot do anything without me. Oh, don't be a bore. Help me, please. Just kidding. Uh, you know how to add and subtract numbers? I will tell you more facts about addition and subtraction. Objectives After completing this lesson, you will be able to understand addition facts and subtraction facts. Solve horizontal addition with carrying and without carrying. Work out horizontal subtraction with and without borrowing. Show me your notebook. You know that the sum of 5 and 4 is 9. And if we add 4 to 5, we again get a sum of 9. Whether you add 5 to 4 or 4 to 5, their sum will always be the same. This is known as addition fact. Let me tell you about subtraction fact. We have nine circles. Out of these, if four circles are colored, how many white circles are left? Thus, we have nine minus four, which is equal to five, and nine minus five, which is equal to four. Remember the addition fact we looked a while ago? Four plus five is equal to 9 and 5 plus 4 is equal to 9. Well, for every addition fact, there is a corresponding subtraction fact too. This shows that three numbers can be interchanged in addition or subtraction. This was simple, but tomorrow my assessment will be on four digit numbers. Could we practice those now? Oh yes, let me show you how to add two numbers horizontally. We have the two numbers 3562 and 2324 which are written as. Now we first add numbers at one's place. Next we move to numbers at tenth place. Then add the numbers at hundredths place. And finally, the numbers at thousands place are added. Thus, sum of 3562 and 2324 is 5886. Let us practice one more example with a bit twist. We have two numbers 6445 and 2649. Add the numbers at one's place. Now carry one to the tenths place. Add the tens. Then add the numbers at hundredths place. We have one number carried on to thousands place. Add thousands to make right final answer. So the answer to the problem is 9094. Let us now move on to subtraction. Wendy went a picnic last Saturday. The picnic spot had two boards with two different numbers written. Let us look at the numbers 4, 5, 3, 6 and 3, 1, 2, 3. Her father asked her to tell the difference between the numbers. Let us help her. We write the bigger number above and smaller number below it. Now subtract the numbers at one's place, the tens, next hundreds, and at last thousands. Thus the answer obtained is 1413. Mac, how will we solve this question? It's simple. We start subtraction of numbers at tens place. Note that you cannot subtract 5 from 3. So you will borrow 10 from 8 to make 13 and 13 minus 5 is equal to 8. Subtract the tens to get 0. At hundredths place, 7 minus 4 
is 3. Finally, subtract the thousands to get 3. Was it not easy? Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. The two numbers can be added in any sequence to give same answer. This is known as addition fact. The position of three numbers can be interchanged in addition or subtraction. 